Uh, one more time. What's my fucking name? No, 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 baby. No, no. My name, my name, my name is Mr. Fucking Brownstone. Behind the iconic figure of Axl Rose, there are many intriguing stories that are rarely known to the public. Besides his distinctive booming voice and captivating stage presence, there are many unique facts about the Guns N' Roses vocalist that will make you admire him even more. Let's delve deeper into the personal life and career of this legendary vocalist. Here are 10 interesting facts about Axl Rose that are rarely discussed. Who would have thought that a song as big as Sweet Child O' Mine could be created so spontaneously? It all started from a casual guitar session where Slash inadvertently created a captivating riff. Without much preparation, Axl Rose, who was relaxing in another room at the time, suddenly felt inspired and poured his emotions into simple yet touching lyrics. Within less than a day, an eternal song was born. The success of Sweet Child O' Mine proves that sometimes miracles can happen when we don't overplan. In 2019, an extraordinary milestone was achieved when the music video for Sweet Child O' Mine reached 1 billion views on YouTube. This is a testament to the song's continued resonance with rock music fans. Behind the roaring voice and energetic stage presence, Axl Rose, the legendary Guns N' Roses vocalist, has a turbulent childhood story. Who would have guessed that this rock singer with a fierce image and extraordinary charisma grew up in a less than ideal environment? Born as William Bruce Rose Jr. On February 6, 1962, Axel was raised in a conflict-ridden family in Lafayette, Indiana. His childhood was marked by family issues, including domestic violence and an unharmonious relationship with his step-parents. His biological father left him when he was still a baby, and his experiences with his stepfather often involved abusive treatment that significantly impacted his psychological development. These childhood traumas affected Axel's personality in adulthood. Despite his difficult childhood, Axel managed to channel his pain and emotional turmoil into music, which ultimately became a crucial element in Guns N' Roses' success. Guns N' Roses is well known for various scandals involving its members, especially the frontman Axel Rose. One of the biggest and most controversial incidents in Axel's career occurred in 1991 at the Riverport Amphitheater in St. Louis, Missouri. On July 2, 1991, Guns N' Roses performed before thousands of fans as part of their highly successful tour. However, the atmosphere changed drastically when Axl Rose was disturbed by a fan taking photos. During their performance, Axl saw someone in the front row using a camera to take pictures. Instead of asking security to handle the situation, Axl Rose took matters into his own hands. He quickly jumped from the stage into the crowd, snatched the camera from the fan, and returned to the stage. Upon returning, Axel angrily slammed the microphone to the floor and stopped the concert. The concert, which lasted only a few minutes, left thousands of fans disappointed, and the situation quickly turned chaotic. The audience began destroying property, breaking chairs, smashing stage equipment, and even clashing with security personnel. Following the incident, Axel Rose faced legal action for his actions, which were deemed to have incited a riot. Guns N' Roses agreed to pay over $2 million in compensation for the damages and injuries incurred that night. Ironically, the fan whose camera was seized by Axl Rose eventually received an autograph from the vocalist as part of the settlement. This became one of the strangest and most ironic stories in rock music history. Axl Rose is not just a music enthusiast, but also a lover of classic cars. In his free time, he enjoys a hobby that is not far from the adrenaline he usually experiences on stage, collecting high-value antique cars. Why classic cars? For Axl, classic cars are more than just machines. He views each car as a symbol of a specific era, with design and technology reflecting the spirit of the time. Just like rock music with its long history, classic cars also carry deep stories and historical value. Although Axel does not frequently talk about his classic car collection in public, some sources reveal that he owns several valuable antique cars. For example, he is rumored to have a number of classic American muscle cars known for their aggressive design and high-performance engines. 
Yes, it's true. Axl Rose is known as an avid reader. Although often associated with the tough rock star image, Axl has a significant interest in literature. He often reads various books, ranging from science fiction to philosophy. For Axel, reading such books is a way to seek inner peace and understand the spiritual journey of his life. On several occasions, Axel has admitted that he often finds tranquility through meditation and reading, which helps balance his pressure-filled rock star life. Axel Rose's interest in literacy is also reflected in the lyrics he writes for Guns N' Roses. Many of the band's songs reflect influences from the ideas he gains through books. The deep, emotional, and sometimes complex lyrics often mirror Axel's philosophical thinking drawn from his reading habits. Like many others, Axel finds comfort and affection in his relationships with pets. Animals are often considered loyal and non-judgmental companions, providing a good escape from the stresses and pressures of everyday life. He is known for his deep love for his pets, such as dogs and cats, which are an important part of his life. His affection for animals reveals another side of Axel that is more caring and attentive, far from his rebellious image on stage. Axl Rose is often portrayed as a perfectionist. This trait is frequently associated with his creative process in making music. Why is Axl Rose called a perfectionist? Guns N' Roses, especially during the making of the album Chinese Democracy, is known for having an extremely lengthy recording process. This is often linked to Axl's demands for a perfect final result. Axl pays great attention to every little detail in his music. From lyrics, arrangements, to sound production, everything must align with his vision. Axel often does multiple takes to achieve the best result, showcasing his dedication to perfection. While this trait greatly contributes to the quality of his music, it also brings challenges in the creative process and internal band dynamics. Before all the glamour and spotlight, Axel had a surprisingly ironic and unexpected side job. He worked at a medical study, smoking to earn a paycheck. Yes, you heard it right. Imagine this. Axel Rose, a future rock legend working at UCLA, California, not as a researcher or doctor, but as a professional smoker. With a pay of $8 an hour, Axel sat in the lab, probably in his leather jacket, seriously smoking while thinking, well, I would do this for free, but who turns down money? While others might wash dishes or deliver pizzas, Axel chose a career path that, though unhealthy, might have been the most comfortable for him. Imagine him sitting back, smoking, and thinking, if not for Guns N' Roses, at least I have this side job. In a medical study aimed at understanding the effects of smoking, Axel was the star, though there was no stage, audience, or Slash's guitar solo. He smoked for science, not relaxation. It's quite ironic to think about, Usually, people go to doctors for quit-smoking advice, but here, Axel was paid to do it under the watch of scientists. In the entertainment world, rumors about celebrities often run wild, and no one is immune to bizarre issues, including Axel Rose, the legendary Guns N' Roses frontman. In early December 2014, a message circulated on the internet claiming that Axel had died at the age of 52. He was reported to have been found dead in his apartment in West Hollywood. The public was outraged. However, the message was soon discovered to be false. Axel responded on social media by asking, If I were dead, would I still have to pay taxes? Axel Rose is not the only celebrity to have faced such death rumors. In fact, many other celebrities, from Paul McCartney to Tom Cruise, have experienced similar fates. One reason for this phenomenon is the public's fascination with dramatic stories. The high-profile lives of celebrities often become fertile ground for speculation and gossip, including false news about death. When Brian Johnson was forced to stop performing to protect his hearing, ACDC found themselves in a difficult situation. Axl Rose was chosen to replace Brian for 10 concerts. During his time with ACDC, Axl Rose showed a surprising transformation. He, who was known for being hours late to concerts, suddenly became a figure who was always punctual and very prepared for his performances. 
Not only that, despite recently undergoing foot surgery, Axel continued to perform with dedication, even while sitting with his foot in a cast. Fans watched as Axel sat on a rock throne, a movable chair that allowed him to perform despite his limited condition. This change marked a new era in Axel Rose's career. From being a figure who was often late and frustrated fans and crew, Axel became a more professional musician. Perhaps this is what could be called Axel Rose's more mature version. These are 10 unique facts about Axel Rose that you might not know. Axel always has intriguing stories behind the scenes. So what do you think? What facts or aspects make you idolize Axel Rose? Share your thoughts in the comments.